Hello guys and welcome to Linux Art. I'm Jean and today I want to show you how to change your background daily with backgrounds from the internet. If we have a look to Linux Mint and we change our desktop backgrounds, we see for every Linux Mint version many new wallpapers. Most of them are very great. But how to get all wallpapers also from every version released from Linux Mint? I will show you this today in the second part of the video. I want to show you how to manage your backgrounds better and also how to get very cool backgrounds daily from the internet. At first, let us install all backgrounds from Linux Mint ever released. For that, open the software manager to see how many different background packages Linux Mint offers. And for that, I type in mint minus backgrounds. And here we see all mint backgrounds ever released. These are over 25 background packages. So how to install all these backgrounds? They are all named the same like mint minus backgrounds minus and then the name of the Linux Mint version. And to do this very easily, we could open up our terminal. We type in sudo apt install and then mint minus backgrounds minus star. I put you the link into the video description and I type enter. Then I type in my password and here we see all our new packages which will be installed. These are about one gigabyte of additional disk space. So this is very heavy because these are many high res images. So I press enter again and then it is downloading after Around about a minute, my backgrounds are all installed. We can close all windows. We can now see a lot of different folders. Um, and yeah, these are all great images. I can really recommend you. But they are very many backgrounds now. So how could we play all them in a slideshow. We have some slideshow settings right into our backgrounds menu. I select settings here and here we can now see play backgrounds as a slideshow. We can um, activate this and then we can set the delay in minutes also if we should play these in random order. But this is only for one folder. We can't select every folder in here. But how can we do this? This is very easy. Just in case you don't want any background or a simple color, just select as picture aspect instead of zoom, no picture. And then we see a very impressive black, but you can choose whatever color you want. Also, you can define your very own color and you can also do some gradients. Um, for example, this one. Usually you want to select as picture aspect zoom. All the others are not really recommended, but you can play with them if you want to. Zoom is the one you want to go with regularly. This is it to the backgrounds app. It's kind of simple. You can do many things with it, but this backgrounds app can't download automatically images of the day, for example, and so on. So for that, we need another program. In our software manager, I search for variety. This app, we select this one and install it very quickly. I select continue here. This is okay. Type in my password and we can launch it right away from the software manager and I can close this window in the back. Here we see our welcome screen. This is a, a quick donation button. I would say Peter did great work here and select continue. Here we see a privacy notice. If Variety should download any pictures from the internet, you see that Variety has to share some data with Unsplash, for example. Um, if you don't want this, just deselect this use internet access button and then everything's fine, but you won't be able to get some images of the internet automatically. Um, I'm checking use internet access here 
and select accept and continue. Here we see our cave variety created an auto start desktop entry. So when we start our computer variety gets started automatically, very helpful for this. And now we can select our image sources from which sources we want to play our slideshow. And here we see some default images here, like for example, all the Linux Mint backgrounds, which is stored under USR share backgrounds backgrounds. Here we see all of them. Quite cool. We can also, if we move our mouse to the edges, scroll through them. Could be very cool. So if you only want to get a slideshow of all the installed Linux Mint backgrounds, you can just deselect every other source. And then you can also select how often the slideshow should change its wallpapers. And I recommend you personally one a day but yeah, you can do it like you want. If you want to use the internet access, then let's head over to, for example, Flickr. Flickr, these are the photos of the developer itself. Maybe we will get some of them, but then we see, for example, the NASA pictures, the Bing photos of the day, the Google Earth view wallpapers we can enable, also the National Geographics photos and also Unsplash photos. Very, very cool. I select everything from them. Also my USR share backgrounds. It takes a time until it downloads some wallpapers. So give it a short time. And then we are finished here. This is the general settings. Usually these are completely fine for everything, but we can have a look on other things. I select wallpaper here and then we can also select something like auto rotation, but this is just fine for almost all wallpapers. But if you use, for example, your own wallpapers or your own photos, you can also select add here and then you can select, for example, folders or other stations here, but select folders and then you can select a folder of your private photo archive, for example. Um, and then this setting could be very helpful because if you take photos with your camera, then they are maybe turned around. This could be very good. But also we have some effects. Very cool. You could select, for example, grayscale. Then every image is in grayscale. You could blur your image very heavily or you could choose a soft blur here. You can make an oil painting from it, then it looks like this. And also pixelate. If you are into the 8-bit family, then this could also be quite funny. But these are only some effects. Very cool. Also, you could display some quotes here. Very cool. If you want, and you can also change the quote. Also, you could turn on some clock and date. This could also be very helpful in the long run if you want it. And then there are also some other cool features you can just activate, but they are then very, very custom. And this is it to variety at the first place. Also, if we closed our variety settings window, we can see our variety icon down here. And then, for example, if we don't want this background at the current day, we just could select, for example, next. And then we get another photo. And I guess this is from the internet. If you don't know where and or which photo is it, it's also very helpful just to click on this folder and then you can see, okay, how is this picture called? You could copy it to the favorites. Um, you could also delete it <laughs> if you don't want it. And we see here also the source. This is from Bing, for example. Very cool. And yeah, this is it to Variety, your must-have app for backgrounds if you want to get very detailed in it. And um, this is it to this video. I hope you found this video very helpful. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because every week we are releasing new stuff about Linux. And at the current time, we are also uploading a Linux short a day. Very stressful, but we are trying it out. So definitely have also a look there. This was it and see you next time. Bye.